What's going on guys, Chu here bringing you a, another review on our dating story, The Experienced You and The Inexperienced Me. Now, this episode was actually uh, really wholesome for the most part. Uh, I was really surprised on the maturity level of Ryuto in this episode. Uh, honestly, I was really surprised and like them being willing to talk about something that in my opinion of course and is important is intimacy and i absolutely love that about this episode um it's probably something that maybe some people didn't really look into that much but or maybe i'm looking into it too much but i definitely enjoyed and if you guys enjoy these type of reviews make sure to like comment and subscribe i truly would appreciate the support that you guys give uh, to these videos by liking them viewing them and subscribing to them. All that means the world to me, guys. It truly does. Uh, but let's get to it. So we start off with Ryutu and Runa going into like, they look to be in the cafe or something and she's he's trying to help her teach some English. Uh, she's not very academic, let's put it that way. And so even though he does help her out a little bit, she does do a little bit better on her test than she would have normally and so that was nice we also see his grade which is much better and we have them realizing that it's been a month since they've been together and this is something that she actually was really happy about and so he was actually kind of surprised about and she's like well why don't we go to the beach this weekend you know have some time together and so he's like sure absolutely you know let's let's do it uh and it was fun to watch how like freaking maria was trying to kind of be in the way and i say it's funny because it is she wants him now uh, but the thing is i don't know if she wants him because she belongs to her sister who she hates or is it because she's genuinely falling for him it could start off one way and then the other who absolutely knows i have no idea but i love how ryuto like originally gives her the numbers and tells her like look i'm not gonna respond to you but he ends up responding to her at least once, and he forgets, which was honestly a Chad move. I actually liked that he was being honest with her. Uh, he does enjoy the time with her at the beach. They actually have a nice time. Uh, she's looking fantastic. He's enjoying the time they're spending together. They're having, you know, that classical beach date. Like, I've had on myself with, with my significant other. We have gone and gone to the beach. We'll get some food there. We'll eat at the beach. Like, the, those, those moments right there are honestly fantastic. Um, and I'm not trying to sound like I'm bragging, but it, it really is. And so we see them as they're talking, you know, and he kind of gets her off by surprise. We notice that the typhoon that they were predicting to come actually came. And so they decided to run to a hotel, the quickest one they probably could find, and try to rent out a place for the night. Uh, they're lucky to find one room. Uh, Ryuto's kind of hesitant at first, but he wants to make sure that Runa's okay with him sharing a room. She's fine with it. The cost would have been kind of unnecessary. But we see them, like, especially Ryuto, kind of having that classic moment where the guy is just having nervous, having all these thoughts. And so, like, he starts doing some exercise. He changes, though, and she's, like, obviously kind of a little nervous herself. And she even kind of goes honest here with him. Like we see that she, you know, asks him, do you want to do it? And he's like, I do, but I want to do it when you're ready. You know, we know that Ryuto's feelings for her are a hundred percent for her. And like, he is into her. She obviously is growing to like him. And as time has passed between these two, that has been the case. She likes him, you know, she, she's willing to hold his hands and kiss him. And she was honest with him and tells him that the first time that she ever wanted to kiss someone was when they were on that boat. And she's getting to a point to where she wants to do more and she wants to be there. And I love that. I absolutely love that. Like they're not forcing anything. They're not pushing anything. And we see that, you know, they kind of have this nice little moment. Of course, he couldn't sleep, but he is very thankful to be able to have hold her, held her hand as she's sleeping. Uh, she feels great. They go back home the next day. He's exhausted. He hasn't slept much. 
and he gets a phone call from none other than Maria playing as Runa, which is kind of strange. And he's like, look, I'm really tired. Like, I really want to go and sleep some. And she's like, no, it's very important. My phone had died, and I I'm with Maria right now. And, you know, I I'm borrowing her phone. We're, we're good now. And it, it sounds sketchy from the beginning. I don't know why Ryuto kind of was like, uh, okay. And so he ends up meeting with Runa. And I say that in quotation marks. But it's at the school in the dark. And she is, in fact, wearing the outfit that Runa would wear, like a school outfit. So we see that he approaches her in the room. It looks to be like a sports closet or something. And she's like, I want to do it. And so he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. In his mind, he's thinking like, whoa, how is it that you want to do it in the span of one day? You know, it, she's lucky that this bluff wasn't caught yet because if they had done it yesterday then this would have been weird and probably would have caught on to that lie so we'll see we'll see what happens i also love that we got a little bit of conversation from yamana uh, who is very supportive now she's actually hopeful that the curse of the two months can break with runa and we shall see i don't know how this is going to go but i'm hoping that ryutsu is smart enough to realize that this is a deception but guys, that is it for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, leave a like, and I'll catch you all later.